Hey, what's up, you guys? I pray that you're continuing to persevere. Welcome to the Midweek Persevering Word, man. I'm praying that the Lord is really uh, blessing you and that you're growing on a day-to-day -day basis because that's what it's all about. It's, just, it's basically about growing minute by minute, second by second, and being where God wants us to be. And we can't do that without His Word. So that's what we do. We, get, we go into His Word. We find strength. We find His character. We find His ways. And that's what it's all about, diving into the Word of God. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to be in the book of Joshua tonight. Joshua chapter number 8 tonight. No titles or nothing like that. We're just going into, the, in, into God's Word and seeing what God's Word is saying to us, how God is speaking to us. And then, I like this, how God really encourages and motivates us. And so, we're in chapter number 8 tonight, dealing with verse number 1. I want to be really brief tonight, kind of quick. And but not too quick, but at the same time, uh, able to deliver some nuggets that's really going to help us and help us in day to day life. So chapter number eight, chapter number eight, verse number one says, then the Lord said to Joshua, it's very clear that God is speaking and God desires to speak to us as his people. And that's something that we cannot afford to take. Uh, take for granted that God desires to speak to you. God wants to. God wants to speak directly to you and God wants to encourage. God wants to implant some things in us. And as we look at Joshua, we see that Joshua did some powerful things. He he uh, uh, he was a great man that that, that that listened to God, but at the same time, he was a man that seen the power of God. And you see, it's one thing to see the power of God is one thing to experience the power of God, but it's another thing when God is, God is tapping you on the shoulder and God is wanting to, wanting to do some magnificent things with you as an individual. And so it says, then the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Why? Because when God has an assignment for you, these two things can happen. We can get afraid and some discouragement can creep in and we have to be very careful. God is speaking to Joshua and he's letting Joshua know. He said, Man, he's, he's saying, I don't want you to be afraid, Joshua. Don't be discouraged. Why? Because you're going to go because there are some great things that you're about to do. And, but if you're not focused, if you're not attentive, if you're not listening to me, that spirit of discouragement and that, that spirit of being afraid is going to creep in. And he says, that's not of you and that's not of me. And, I, and, and I've, I've taken that out of you when you allowed me to direct you, when you've allowed me to love you and appreciate you as a man that I've created. And so when we allow God to really come into our life, when we allow God to do something miraculous to us, when we accept him as Lord and Savior, when we accept him as leader of our life, then God takes that, takes that negativity out of us. And we have to be very careful not to visit that, again, based on what we feel, based on how we are seeing things, based on the things that we face as men and women of God. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. This is what he says. This is what he tells Joshua. He says, take the whole army with you and go up and attack Ai. For I have delivered into your hands the king of Ai, Ai his people, his city and his land. He says, don't be discouraged because I have delivered the enemy into your hands. That's very, how can I say it? That's very motivating, isn't it? That sounds really good, man. That sounds really good coming from the Lord. But you know what? Him telling Joshua this and Joshua doing it are two different things. And you see, when God is speaking to you, God has told you, God has shown you some things, we have to be very careful and we have to continue to be faithful in who God is in his word. Because he told Joshua to don't be afraid. He told Joshua, don't be discouraged because you are going to overtake the enemy. He says, I'm confirming this. I'm, I'm letting you. This came from God. And God told him that this is what you're going to do. But your faith, your confidence in God must be consistent in order for you to see the victory that, that, that lies within you. In order for Joshua to do what he did. And that's, and, that's, and that's take over or take the enemy by the neck. In order for him to do what he did, he had to have the faith. 
He had to have the consistency and the belief in God's word to do what he said. Oh man, it's really easy for uh, it's really easy to, to see the miracles and all of that in which Joshua seen when, when he was rolling with Moses, but now it's Joshua at the forefront. And now Joshua is experiencing a different beast here. Now he's the leader. Now God is speaking specifically to him to complete a task. And when God is speaking specifically to you, it's a different thing when you're in their boat rowing yourself and compared to you looking at somebody row. Now you have to stay consistent. Now you have to stay motivated. Now you have to stay encouraged. Now you have to dive into the word for yourself. Now you have to pray. Now you have to do your due diligence in order for you to see the promises that God God has for you. Remember, don't be discouraged, don't be afraid, because God has some great things in store for you. God has already set up some great things. All you have to do, stay consistent, continue to continue to be abreast to, to his word, because he can't go against it. And if God said that he has some promises for you, they will come to pass. Stay in the race and continue to to persevere, man. The Word of God is for you. And I pray that the Word of God is going to motivate you. I pray that the Word of God, it's equipping you, strengthening you, just like it did Joshua, just like it should be doing to us today. He has delivered the enemy in your hands. All you have to do is do what the Word says and to be attentive, react, and be faithful towards it. And I guarantee you, He won't let you down. I'm going to cut it off right there, man. Uh, pray that you're continuing to persevere. I'm praying for you and you pray for me. And remember, it's in the word and his word will set you free. I'm going to talk to you soon, you guys. Be blessed. Hang in there. I know it gets rough and I know it gets tough, but hang in there because your promise is on the way. Your enemy is defeated. Just stay consistent with Jesus Christ. Talk to you soon, man. Love you. Let's continue to persevere through this thing together. I'll let you.